For question number two, we are going to stick with our old friend, the moon. NASA tells us that we always see the same side or face of the moon because it is locked into synchronous rotation with the Earth. Just another one of those wonderful coincidences, like the moon and the sun having exactly the same angular size as each other so the eclipses can happen. They also tell us that the moon is covered with impact craters from gazillions of years of bombardment by all sorts of cosmic junk. As our own eyes show us, meteors, meteorites, shooting stars and other celestial events in the night sky come from all different angles. For an impact crater to be perfectly round, the impact object has to hit perpendicular to the surface. If it doesn't, then the crater is elongated. This can be adequately demonstrated by dropping a pebble onto sand. Let it drop and it will make a circle. Throw it at an angle and it will make an elongated mark. Strangely enough, all the craters on the moon are circles. Therefore, we have to assume that all of the impacts came from a 90 degree angle, perpendicular to the surface. This is possible. However, highly improbable. But what about all the craters that are constantly facing Earth? Where the hell did those meteorites come from? Did they go around the Earth before they reached the Moon? Did they go through the Earth by some magical means? Is there some guy somewhere on Earth taking pot shots at the Moon with a big gun? I once heard someone suggest that the craters were formed by escaping gas from the Moon's core. I mean, really, NASA, how can you explain this one? For one, the chances of every meteorite hitting the moon perfectly perpendicular is about as likely as Brexit happening or Bill Gates taking one of his own vaccines. And how did the perfectly circular impact craters always facing the Earth get there? I cannot wait to hear you wriggle out of this one. Space Busters, the channel that makes you think for yourselves.